I remember uh, hearing Sam Harris say something poignant about AI a long time ago and how, you know, the machines are only going to get faster and smarter. And it's just a matter of time. It might be 50 years. It might be 100 years, might be 500 years before we get, you know, fully sentient autonomous AI. But one day, assuming there's nothing magical about consciousness, mm -hmm. assuming there's no, you know, mysticism to it and it was just an equation, eventually it will be figured out. And we're not nearly as nervous about that as we should be. We really are. not Even this conversation no. now is still pretty downplayed compared to, like John mentioned, the damage, like the uh, the the cataclysmic destruction that this could cause. And he gave a really good example that I thought was pretty good. Like, let's say like fully autonomous AI or fully sentient AI is 75 years away or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or like, OK, all right, 75 years. Now, imagine if we had someone told you, OK, we just got a transmission from an alien spacecraft. They say they're 75 years away. They'll be landing. Uh, see you soon. We would be freaking out. We would be losing our goddamn minds. And it's not that much different. It really isn't. I mean, it really isn't. That was like a, a brand new life form that's, you know, beyond our comprehension that can think thousands of times faster than we can is pretty scary. And we don't really, mm -hmm. you, you know, give it a whole lot of thought when we really should. And as to what you're talking that's about, John, uh, John, I agree that it would be in our best interest to work together as a species and say, hey, let's, you know, put the brakes on this for as long as we possibly can. And we don't want to go through what we went through with the atomic bomb. But the difference is we saw firsthand the destruction of the atomic bomb. It took that for us to say, OK, maybe we don't want atomic bombs flying all over the place and making the land unlivable for decades at a time. And then we're all aware of the destruction that an atomic war would end life on Earth. But we haven't really seen something like that from AI yet. And mm -hmm. I think, unfortunately, like if that does happen, it might be too late. Hopefully we can have a small enough offense where we learn the lesson. But I would like to see that. But I'm not nearly as optimistic. I, I don't know if we can, we can pull it off. Think about think about the poisonous power and virality of a tweet sharing something incorrect mm -hmm. and influencing public policy. Mm -hmm. Think about that, but a billion times yeah. more potent and with actual physical force at its disposal. Yeah. So weaponry, projectiles of some sort. That is a vastly different thing. Yeah. Computers now, like my phone can do some amazing things. Computer now, it can't reach out and slap the shit out of me. Okay. Big difference. Yeah. When you give something the power of physical force. Yeah. And also just to touch on the 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 morality that that humans hold, we also um, have societal consequences that are associated with that as well. So it's like when when we do make decisions, even if our moral compass is skewed and maybe we would do this, some of our societal constructs keep us from actually making those types of decisions that I don't think would exist necessarily under AI. No. Um, no. Uh, I was just going to say, I, I, I always, I don't talk too much about this publicly. I, obviously, I just did, um, but mostly because <laughs> I know that we're all going to look stupid. Like, 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 no matter how like yeah. our predictions go out, like we're going to look back at like this time sixty years from now. Hopefully, we'll be here. Yeah. Oh, when, yeah, like, we're here. yeah, yeah, yeah. When, 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 when AI like has become a thing, like all of the predictions that people made about the internet, you know, and mm -hmm. they just look stupid. Like, there's that one guy from the Times, I fucking forget who it was, but like he said that the internet would have like less impact than I don't know, he says something crazy like a fax machine or something. It's just like yeah, that's a I, dumb yeah, take yeah. from a very yeah. smart man because we just won't and it will be so commonplace. Our grandkids will just be like, oh AI, hey, yeah, no, it's just like the internet to us. And you know, we'll, AI, we'll look so stupid. <laughs> I'm not against AI at all. I I think that I, I'm actually for things that make things easier for humanity. I just think specifically when we're talking about weapons. <laughs> mm -hmm. we have yeah. to be more cautious right i don't care if my car drives me around i don't care if you guys figure out ways so we don't have pilots anymore and I, those those things don't really matter to me but as far as the actual decision to you know i i, I assume ai will be like bicentennial man <laughs> you know where it's just like here are the rules everyone has all the robots have to fall into this line and as long as ai is operating within these laws we're fine um well think ahead, about a, i robot movie. will smith's movie i robot exactly mm -hmm. exactly which 
off the rails you know it went off the rails off the rails but... yeah yeah I, saw... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will I, I will say one thing about the predictions people have about the internet uh this is the one area where I hate to admit it, but the boomers did get something right. Like it's it's uh, not a common occurrence, but they did nail this. I remember them saying years ago when the Internet first came out and they said, uh, well, you know, the invention of the Internet is just going to, you know, keep people locked on their computers. They're never going to go outside. They're never going to know their friends. They're going to be isolated from the world. And I said, no, that's not going to happen. You know, we'll do things like we're doing right now. We'll talk to people from different states and around the world. And that's true. That did happen where you do get to communicate with people, you know, all around the world. But they were right about society becoming more isolated. I, I mean, I hate to admit it, but it's true because uh, people like people don't know their neighbors anymore. You know, they don't see their friends as often. Uh, and it's it's interesting looking at the steady decline of a social interaction over the past couple of decades that people go to bars less, they go partying less, they have sex less. I mean, it's true. It really has taken away a lot of face-to-face -face human interaction to the extent that a lot of people never hang out with anyone. Like they, all mm -hmm. of their time is sent in front of a screen. And I, I never tell boomers this to their face because I know they were saying this back in the <laughs> yeah, 90s. Don't, but don't tell them. <laughs> yeah, they nailed that one. I, I hate to admit it, but they did. It's like well, when, they want like us all start... the way in the metaverse, you know? They, yeah. oh. they want us They want us even deeper than we are right now. Yeah. They want us to come home and sit on our couch, put, go in the metaverse and go hang out with your friends at the metaverse bar. Thank God <laughs> that hasn't taken off because that, that's weird. Right. <laughs> so. I, I was going to say, TJ, it's like when like you start working out and you start feeling better and you're just like, fuck, those workout freaks were right. This does make me feel good. Those, hey, those jerk faces. I have lost weight. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Eating right and working out is the closest thing to drugs that isn't actually drugs. Like it feels yeah. amazing. Like it's, it's, right. it's, 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 it feels like it should be illegal to feel that good. Like, man, you know, I'm drinking enough water, eating some veggies and you know, and you only have to do it for like a short period of time, like maybe three mm -hmm. days. Yeah. And three, four day, times a week. And you feel like a you're superhero. Feeling great. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I still prefer drugs, but it's, it's, it's pretty <laughs> <well>. <laughs> so.